Yeah, so up 2-0, Rocker looking absolutely unstoppable in his PvZ. But right now, it is his dreaded matchup, uh, PvP. We'll see um, We'll see how Atero does. Atero spawning as the light blue Protoss here. And most players don't like mirror matches. So perhaps Atero is not very strong in his mirror match either. As the game gets underway, this will be close by air spawns. Um, but more importantly, it will also allow Colossi to walk into your opponent's base fairly quickly as... Um, I, I, I don't know, I just somehow predict Colossi uh, more quickly than, you know, perhaps Phoenix and Void Ray Harassment. I want to see some Phoenix play. Uh, definitely, I think, was it Rocker in the game we saw where he added, like, double Stargate late Phoenix? I guess that was against uh That was against Terran, Terran but that, yeah. was, that was beautifully done. Um, I, I talked to Rocker about it afterwards. And yeah, most players don't know that Phoenixes beat Vikings in a in a head head to head matchup, and now especially if they have that uh, plus two range attack, um, e even even better as they can like, I don't know I guess fly around in circles against Mutalis and truly take them on as a good counter. And if you're not microing your Vikings, they're not focusing down the Colossi. They're you know they're attacking a lot of time the Phoenix instead because the Phoenix are just closer a lot of times. So mm -hmm. it basically forces the Terran to, to react, and then he's going to lose those Vikings pretty quickly with the Phoenix out. And unless he's able to take down the majority of the Colossi, the Colossi just rip apart that MMM ball that we so often see. But that is a different matchup which we might see if Rocker wins this game. There is a, a Terran player left for Team Dynamic. But he's going to have to go through uh, Atero here. And Atero is a pretty high-level GM player, uh, Canadian Protoss. And uh, so we'll see what Rocker is able to do here against him. All right, Atero doing a quick check, making sure there wasn't any sort of crazy proxy gateway play as the probe does make its way across the map. It looks like Rocker has a slight economic advantage since he didn't scout until later on with this probe. Um, and I think that was a, a lot of the problems with uh, Hasu and Rocker's play in Protoss versus Protoss. When they scouted after the 9 pylon, um, it, it just threw off your timing so much and, and things just started to unravel very, very quickly. Um, Atero is going to be able to pretty much see what's going on inside Rocker's base. It, it will take a little bit of time before Rocker sees ooh. what's going on in Atero as... Ooh, a nice gas deal coming in from Atero. And what do you think Rocker can do in order to counteract this? Well, without a second gas, it means he's not going to be able to go for really fast tech. So he's going to definitely get out an early zealot. He already had a building, so it's going to work on that assimilator. But typically, a, uh, a Protoss player wants to take that second gas between the 20 and like the 22 food mark. So Rocker's right there. He wants to take that second gas pretty soon, but he's just not going to be able to. But back at home, Atero can't really take his own second gas and keep up constant probe production. Uh, because again, he spent those minerals on the uh, the gas of Rocker, and Rocker is going to steal the gas of Atero. So both players going to make sure that the opponent is on just one gas, and you know that might force a uh, a pretty low gas four gate type build out of one or both players. Well, Atero has actually stopped his probe production, so it is right. going to be a straight up four gate coming in from Atero, but it's going to be primarily consisting of of zealots. Unless that a second assimilator is placed down, um, zealots do tend to get um, clumped up on the ramp. Rocker, if he actually saw this or saw that or realized that the probes had stopped being trained, may decide to put in additional buildings to minimize the walking area around this front door. Stalkers now making their way over. Uh, Rockers now training up more and more gateways and sentries. This is really important. We need to see additional production buildings from Rocker as we already have four gateways coming in from Atero. Yeah, this is going to be really well timed by Atero. That gateway, or the Cybernetics just chronoed again, has about 25 game seconds, and it looks like these gateways are about eight or nine game seconds away from finishing. Now they're finishing, so the warp gate tech is going to be just a little bit behind these gateways, but he's going to have a pylon down at the gold expansion of Rocker. We'll see whether Rocker is able to handle this. I do like the fact that Rocker has placed these buildings at the top of his ramp. We saw that in the game against his brother in control, he really used building placement to try to shut down a four gate and he does have one sentry here with enough 
energy for a single force field and gateway finishes for both players we'll see whether rocker is able to get out another century here it comes it looks like yep one more century and by the time the second force field finishes that first century gonna have enough energy for a third force field so uh rocker so far it looks like he's gonna try to trap a few units here focus down the zealots and he's gonna be able to take down a zealot or two but he did let up one stalker and now we'll see whether rocker is able to defend here he's gonna send that zealot on the low ground hoping to take down perhaps the pro but here come the wave and wave of units of rocker but i think a terror might be a little bit ahead here he does have the high ground uh warp in with those zealots and i think this is going to spell defeat for rocker at this point yeah rocker needs to pull probes or he needs to do something here there are a lot of gateways they're taking a lot of damage he needs to perhaps chrono boost out an immortal rocker sitting on 400 minerals needs to be able to spend his resources and do it quickly there is one artosis pylon and that pylon is going to be very very bad news as two gateways now go unpowered you can see a, an immortal now trying to be chrono boosted out probes coming off the mineral line zealots battling up and there is the gg yeah i think i mean the gas deal sort of dictated uh the builds there and rocker took down the uh the assimilator which a terrible and still tried to tech when really he probably should have gone for the four gate and defensive four gate with a, a century is a great build and then from there you just have to you know risk throwing down a uh a robotics and getting a scat out and then you can sort of react and you can get it maybe a few more probes both players really cut probes or at least a terror date early on rocker made 26 compared to 22 so i feel like with the gas steel he probably shouldn't have gone for a more techie play instead maybe should have just did, done a defensive four gate yeah, I, I think if he had play, I think if he had placed his second force field a little bit better, what he did was he placed the force field on the ramp. His second one actually trapped units, but it allowed those units to gain sight up onto the high ground. The sentries and the stalkers were doing a good job destroying those pylons, and the stalkers on the low ground couldn't see a thing, so they weren't able to attack by allowing those units to come up. It, it forced an engagement where he was definitely not ready, and because of that. Um, the sentries were forced to back away, and then the three zealots got inside. Not yeah. enough sentries, and and things just started to crumble very, very quickly. Um, perhaps if he had another gateway, the gateway would have allowed him to get an, an additional sentry instead of going for that robotics facility. Because we never saw a single unit from that robotics facility, and I think one sentry, that one more sentry, could have made a world of a difference there. Yeah.